All right, today's video is all about Henry Rose fragrances. And if you're not familiar with Henry Rose, this is a fragrance company that was started and founded by the gorgeous and talented Michelle Pfeiffer. She wanted a fragrance line that was clean, transparent. So she created 11 fragrances that I find to be extremely unique, gorgeous. I just absolutely love these. So I have 11 of these fragrances to share with you. So if you've been very curious about this brand, you're going to love this video. Grab a drink and let's get right on into it. All right, as I mentioned, I do have the fragrances from Henry Rose that I'm super excited to share with you. I ended up picking one full bottle of one of the ones that I really, really wanted. And I also have a travel spray that I'll show you. So I'll save those two for the end so you'll find out which perfume I picked. If you enjoy fragrance reviews and this type of content, definitely give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and then you know each time I upload a new fragrance review. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the little package that I got. It has all 11 of the fragrances are in there and I love how they did this. The outside of the box is the logo. It says Henry Rose. And then when you open the box, you'll notice in the front flap, it says you shouldn't have to sacrifice quality for safety. And then there's a card in here. It says fragrance fully exposed. And then when you open this up, it talks about each one of the fragrances and then on the back it says equal parts intoxicating and non-toxic so that's really great you're getting clean fragrances non-toxic and they really really are intoxicating and then you also get a little gift card in here that'll get you twenty dollars off of a purchase of a full bottle and then you'll notice two smaller boxes in here and these house the samples one of the boxes has i think like five and the other has six and so that's what it looks like when you open it so really really nice and what i went ahead and did i pre-sprayed all of these swatches ahead of time several hours ago and i was really surprised that i can really still smell the fragrances on each one of these strips so that way we can get through these fragrances a lot faster and we don't have to sit here and stop have me take a sample out and respray. So I've got everything labeled. It's got the name of the fragrance that I wrote down. And this very first one that we're going to talk about is Windows Down. And I'm sure you've heard of this one. This one is all over the place. It's on a lot of lists as fabulous fragrances for both men and women. And I should mention, these are unisex fragrance, which makes this absolutely fantastic. So if you're a guy watching, you can definitely sit back, relax, and enjoy this video as well. But Windows Down is a very citrusy type fragrance. There's hints of some grapefruit and that grapefruit is slightly sweet, a little bit of tart. You're getting a little bit of bitterness on this one as well. And then you're going to notice some bergamot. So that's very citrusy, very clean. It mixes with a little bit of neroli. And then you're getting some Earl Grey tea. So that tea accord really makes this fragrance stand out. And then there's also some florals in here. This is a very bright, clean, fresh linen type of smell that is very likable. This is a great signature scent. M most of these fragrances make great signature scents for most occasions. There's a few that I recommend more for nighttime, but most of these daytime, nighttime, like I said, very versatile, crowd pleasing and very unique smelling. And that's what I really love about this fragrance brand it is very unique smelling and these fragrances really do stand out a gorgeous fragrance and again that one was windows down all right next we have sheep's clothing and i love the names of these fragrances by the way i think they are very different and it goes with the fragrance as well so this one is a floral woody fragrance the first thing you're going to notice is a little bit of some pink peppercorn so it has a little bit of a spiciness to it. There's some Turkish rose in here as well as some amber woods. So like I mentioned, it does have a little bit of a spicy opening. That rose in there is very soft, slightly powdery, and it also has a slight woodiness to it. Kind of grounds this fragrance, but I love the way that this particular fragrance smells. It's very different. And I don't have anything in my collection that smells like that, but a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. And again, this one was Sheep's Clothing. All right, next I have Smith. 
Ah, oh, and this is a very bright fragrance. This opens with a crisp green apple. It's like mouth watering. There's some watery notes in here. There's also some sheer white woods. So this has a slight tartness to it in the opening that's very fresh. It's very crisp and very, very green. So if you enjoy those types of fragrances, then you will really appreciate this one. A wonderful signature scent. I can see this one definitely for like the spring and summertime. It's bright. It's a very happy fragrance. So if you like those types of fragrances, then you'll definitely want to check out Smith. Mm, this one is really different. This one is called Fog. This is an earthy fragrance. There's vetiver and musk in here. And I detect a slight herbal note. It's kind of thick. It's also very dense. And it seems to have a little bit of like dampness to it. Like it's a heavier, deeper type of fragrance. Still, you can wear this on a day-to-day -day basis. This one, I would say probably the latter part of summer, getting into fall and winter. The longevity on all of these is really good as well. As I mentioned, I had sprayed these several hours ago and I cannot believe how strong they still smell. And I've been playing with a lot of them and I get at least six hours on my skin. And you guys that have been following me know that's very good because you know, typically my skin kind of eats up the fragrance. So I'm pleased that I'm getting up to six hours of wear on these fragrances. But this is a great fragrance. Again, this one is Fog. All right, next we have Last Light. This is a very smooth fragrance. This has some musk, some patchouli. There's also a slight hint of some peach in here and some woody accords. This is nice because this is where some sweetness comes in. It's richly intoxicating. This one you can wear year round. It's very versatile. You can wear it in the daytime. You can wear it out in the evening if you're going on a date. It's just a really beautiful, intoxicating fragrance. So if you like something that's more smooth, maybe a little more dramatic, then you might enjoy Last Light. All right, moving right along. This is another fabulous fragrance. This one is called Jake's House. This smells very clean, very fresh. There's some honeyed neroli. There's some aquatic fresh notes. It has a slight saltiness to it. It's almost oceanic. You're getting like wafts of maybe the ocean. Maybe you live nearby the beach. You're getting kind of that vibe from this particular fragrance. It's very fresh. It's slightly citrusy. It smells clean, aquatic. This is great for the spring, the summertime, maybe the earlier parts of fall. Beautiful fragrance. It's very addicting. And this one was Jake's house. All right, next we're moving along with Queens and Monsters. And this is a really unique fragrance. It's very rich, beautiful. There's pedigree as well as some sandalwood. This one to me smells very creamy, very milky, like warm, sun-kissed skin. And it almost has like a coconut kind of a scent to it. I know coconut is not listed, but I get almost this slight tropical coconut off in the distance, which I really like. This one is really nice if you want to wear this for most occasions. This one would work great on a cool summer night, on a date night. I think this one is beautiful. It's intoxicating. It's a little bit mysterious. And I love the name of this one. And again, it was Queens and Monsters. We've got Dark is Night. And this is very, very sensual. So if you love those sensual types of fragrances, you're going to really like this one. And especially if you love patchouli because this one has a lot of patchouli that mixes with a vanilla bean. So you're getting this very creamy, smooth, sexy, slightly sweet, that warm skin effect as well. Mesmerizing. I recommend this one definitely for a date night for any season. If you want to dress up, you're going out maybe on a first date or going out with your significant other and you want to leave this lasting impression. Oh my gosh then you definitely need Dark is Night. This is gorgeous. Next, we have Torn. And this is a spicy fragrance. There's some vanilla bean as well as vetiver. So if you love vanilla, this is a great one. And especially if you love vetiver, this one really does stand out. And I like the way these two notes really combine with one another. It's a very rich vanilla that's wrapped in a slight spiciness. And to me, it feels very grown up. 
and it also has a bit of some edginess to it which i really like so if you like a slight spicy type of fragrance with that vanilla a little edginess then you'll really enjoy torn all right next i have char this is an amber woody fragrance mm, this has tonka bean this also has a little bit of some ginger there's some moroccan orange flower it smells smoky boozy rich mysterious and slightly dark i could definitely see this one if you're going out to a jazz club you're out for the evening this makes a beautiful beautiful date night type of fragrance again you can wear this one in the daytime if you want but i see this one more for the nighttime going out it's different it's unique it's intriguing it's definitely one of those fragrances that will get you noticed people are going to want to know what you're wearing i think it's gorgeous and again this one was char all right and then last but not least we have flora carnivora this is a floral fragrance that's very earthy. There's vetiver in here, jasmine, some tuberose, as well as some bright orange flower. This to me is a floral that is very dense. It's very dewy. It's like a tropical garden near a lush forest after a rain. It's just very luscious and you really get the scent of all of those florals mixing with some earth, some green. It's really, really nice. So if you enjoy a floral that's very, very different, that almost has a little bit of like some tropical florals in there, then you are really going to enjoy the Flora Carnivora is a great one to choose. And then let's talk about their travel spray. Now I got a travel spray in Torn, which I really like. And the packaging itself is super nice. And then I'll show you the bottle itself. So a nice size bottle. You can see I've already put a little dent in there. I enjoy wearing this one a lot. I think it's a gorgeous fragrance. So these are great if you're going somewhere on vacation you don't want to take a full bottle with you then definitely check out their travel sprays and then the bottle the full bottle that i chose is dark is night i just find this fragrance to be very sexy very seductive i love it especially if you're going out in the evening the packaging again is super nice and i love it, it says on the side fragrance fully exposed and then let's take a look at the bottle itself really nice packaging there's the bottle it's very simple but yet it's has some understated elegance it's sophisticated looking very minimalistic and again i love this fragrance i'm wearing it right now i'm gonna spray a little bit more on never rub just kind of dab when you're putting perfume on your wrist because if you rub it it breaks down the alcohol and then it just does something to the fragrance but anyway this one is darkest night that's what i picked as my full bottle and because I'm just enjoying these fragrances so much, I put on my wish list a couple more bottles that I really want to get my hands on. I'll share those with you. I want Windows Down and the Queens and Monsters. I just think those are, they're all fabulous. And I just, and I just want to start with those two. And then I, I have a feeling I'm going to end up with several more. And it's really surprising to me when you can have a line with so many different perfumes in there, 11, and actually really really love it now my least favorite probably was the floral one because i'm not a huge floral person but i thought it still smelled really really nice very had that like i said that tropical scent to it with those flowers so anyway there you have my review on the henry rose fragrance line i hope you enjoyed this video again let me know if you have any of the henry rose fragrances let me know that in the comments what you think of it or did any of these fragrances I talked about today appeal to you? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you again real soon.